Bonjour! Unfortunately, it's sometimes rainy and sometimes cold at Paris. So I thought today I could bring you along the most beautiful passages at Paris. So allons-y. Allons voir le premier passage qui s'appelle le Passage Verdeau, conduisant au Grand Boulevard. What that means is it's leading to the Grand Boulevard because right now at Paris, on est dans le 9e arrondissement. We're in the 9th district. And the passage that we're currently going, ça s'appelle un passage antiquaire. So what exactly is a passage? Actually, a passage is where rich Parisians would go to go shopping uh, back in the day when it was rainy or when it's cold. And it's such a cool concept. I've never done one of these walk with me, so let me know what you think of it. I'm passing in front of a brunch place that I did a video on, qui s'appelle le brunch de Kiyopi, some brunch un endroit coréen. And I went there with my Korean friend. It was really good. In general, passageways are where people like to go to buy books or to do shopping. Et c'est là, en fait, où les anciens Parisiens, ils allaient pour faire leurs courses. It's where they would go shopping. So there's like lots of coffee shops, stores, restaurants. And today is very rainy, so il y a beaucoup de monde. There's a lot of people. This is the first passage, and actually, a passage is basically an indoor gallery that's covered, right? So now I'm gonna go to cross to the other one. So that was le passage Verdot behind me, and on the other side, I have le passage Jouffroy. Donc, on est dans le passage Jouffroy. We're in the passage Jouffroy since 1846, in my opinion. It's one of the most beautiful passageways, and this one has a lot of like old photographs, a lot of art. C'est très beau. Il y a beaucoup d'exhibitions aussi. There's a lot of like photo exhibitions, um, a lot of like old school photos of pop stars and celebrities in black and white. Je vois Céline Dion. Et en fait, tu peux acheter ça. Like you can go ahead and buy it. And the people here who sell the artwork, they're very friendly in general. So that's why I would highly advise you to come and ask if you ever like something or like any of the artworks. And honestly, like in Paris, a lot of people have asked me what to do when it's rainy. To be honest, this is one of the best activities. Seeing the meilleures activités. Because you can always find a cafe, you can always find something to look at. There are even like bookstores that I absolutely love. There's like old books, there's like stamps. Il y a tellement de choses, il y a tellement de choses à voir et à faire. So now we're coming to the part that's kind of sentimental for me. C'est le Hotel Chopin. Hotel Chopin was the first place that I went to with my grandparents first time I came to Paris. Donc c'est un lieu quand même assez sentimental. Et juste à côté de moi, just beside me, on a le Musée Grévin. So le Musée Grévin, you know, it's for all ages, for people to see celebrities. Um, I loved that as a kid. I don't know if I love that now, but there's like this little cute store aussi. But yeah, I feel like Paris is always a nice place to walk around. And what I find crazy is that back in the day, it was only for un peu les bobos, les bourgeois parisiens to go shopping. But now it's like for everyone, for everyone to enjoy freely. Il y a des différentes pâtisseries, il y a des différents glaciers, il y a des cafés aussi. I really like the cafe qui s'appelle le Valentin. C'est un café que j'aime bien. And it's nice because you have the light of the glass through the passage and you have the beautiful like iron. It really makes you feel like you're back in the movie in 1800s. So I was, as I was saying, it used to be a truc pour les riches, mais maintenant il y a même des casinos. So it shows that it's a local supermarket. C'est pour tout le monde. It's for everyone. Et ça, j'aime beaucoup. We're in front of Le Grévin, la boutique. <laughs> so, you know, for the souvenirs and everything. And I just noticed that there's also like a hotel. So you can even stay here and lots of suites. Mais je pense que Paris n'est pas en manque de ça. I don't think Paris is missing out on that. But yeah, we're in the second gallery right now. Um, pour moi, c'est une des plus belles. It's one of the most beautiful ones. Et il y a beaucoup aussi de cartes postales, etc. A lot of postcards, lots of souvenirs. Il y a plein de choses à acheter. Wow, there's even like a vintage kilo shop. So yeah, the, there's a lot of vintage stores à Paris. Peut-être pour une autre vidéo, maybe for another video. But for today, we just finished le passage au froid. Another thing is these passages are like open de 7h du matin from 7am à 21h le soir. Donc, you know, pretty much the whole day. 
So that was Le Passage Jouffre and now I'm crossing the street. Just crossed from Passage de Jouffre, qui est derrière moi, and right in front of me I have Passage des Panoramas. It's actually the most famous and the oldest one. It's from 1799, so basically 1800s, and it's the one with a lot of like famous restaurants beaucoup de bons restaurants à essayer to test out and a lot of people in general out of the all the passages that I did de tous les passages que j'ai fait c'est celle où il y a le plus de monde it's the one with the most amount of people but it's as cozy as all the other ones I really like it and I like how the restaurants are like out like that um, you can eat in the passage and feel like you're in a movie from back then ah il y a même des bars cachés this bar is called French Paradise. Um, et bien sûr, il y a la vente des timbres. So, selling stamps. Et aussi la vente de livres. Je pense que... C'est fou, it's really crazy. I met these two creatives. You can present yourself, Rory, Rory. Brian, hi. Rory, And they're shooting a feature film de Paris, qui parle de Paris. So, when I have more information about that, maybe I can link it as well, so you can see perhaps the trailer. Definitely. Donc merci beaucoup, thank you. Et à bientôt. See you soon. And I will continue my uh, my passageways. Good luck. Have a good evening. See you. See you. Bye bye. Ah, j'adore Paris. I love Paris because c'est les rencontres comme ça. It's meetings like this that I think. J'ai choisi le bon métier. I, I found the right job. But anyway, so je suis toujours à passage des panoramas. Uh, I've been here for a while now because I was shooting the feature film with them for about like 15 minutes. So it's still raining. On entend la pluie. Mais uh, là, je vais marcher au prochain passage. I'm going to walk to the next passage, which is Passage de Choiseul. So, allons voir ça. Je pense que je passais par ici. So this is the place that we ran into each other. C'est là où on s'est croisé and they asked me, are you a content creator à Paris? Et j'ai dit oui. And they said, uh, oh, it would be great to have you in our feature film. Donc je l'ai fait. Des fois dans la vie, let's try new things and meet new people. Which as an intro ambivert or intro extrovert, c'est pas toujours facile. It's not always easy. J'adore Paris parce que même quand il pleut ou il fait froid, even when it's raining or it's cold, il y a quand même des gens en terrasse. Like there's still people having coffees on a terrace. Um, je trouve ça marrant. I find it funny. I think it should be about like a eight minute walk, à peu près huit uh, minutes. But même quand il pleut dans cette ville, je la trouve quand même magnifique. Bien sûr, les petits trottoirs à Paris. The small uh, sidewalks in Paris. Ça, c'est un truc. Uh, <laughs> it's really. C'est très parisien. Well, it's either the little sidewalks or les travaux, the construction, which doesn't even fit my umbrella. Mais c'est pas grave. Je vais tourner à gauche sur le et je vais aller dans la rue Richelieu. So, right now, I'm in front of La Bourse, which you can see behind me. La Bourse, donc, euh, very important place to be. On rentre dans la partie où il y a pas mal de restaurants asiatiques. There are a lot of like Asian restaurants. Um, there's a really hyped coffee chain called Noir, which I came to before. And there's Aki, que j'aime beaucoup leur pâtisserie et leur café. Bon, je ferme mon parapluie, closing my umbrella, et nous rentrons dans le passage Choiseul. There are some cute cafés. Je vois des personnes en train de faire du coworking. I can see some people having a coffee and coworking at the same time. And this passage is really beautiful and much less busy than the passageway I just came from, which was Passage des Panoramas. And I love how they kept all the signs. T'as vu? They kept all of the signs. Ici aussi, il y a beaucoup de librairies. There's a lot of places to do shopping. La raison initiale pourquoi il y a eu des passages à Paris, where the reason why there were passages in Paris, was for rich people basically to do their shopping. 
And so I really like now seeing like beaucoup de exposition, lots of exhibitions of uh, local artists. Ah, this one's a very cute one. That's why I like passageways. J'adore les passages parce que you discover like local artists that I would have not discovered otherwise. Sinon, j'aurais jamais découvert euh, cette euh, illustratrice. And what I love about it is that when you walk in it, you really feel like you're back into in the 1800s. Like this passage was from 1825, so 1825. Donc aussi pas très récent, mais but it was recently restored. Ils l'ont restauré en 2013, so in 2013, not that long ago. And I love how there's everything that you can like choose to find. I think living in a passageway must really feel like you're in old Paris. And just like spending an afternoon here, you know, quand il fait froid ou quand il pleut, it's really worth it. Ah, il y a des magasins qui ferment. There are stores that are closing parce qu'on est presque la fin de la journée. We're almost uh, the end of the day. Mais c'est vraiment magnifique. Like you just walk into history, and imagine just having like a cup of coffee and uh, une pâtisserie here. To be honest, I would even come here even when the weather was great because it's amazing to have this open to everyone for everyone to enjoy. Uh, you can just have a walk around, not necessarily buy anything. Là, je vais sortir du passage Choiseul. I'm going to go out of the passageway. Il semble moins pleuvoir. It feels like it's raining less. Devant moi, j'ai la rue Sainte Anne. I have the street of Sainte Anne, which is where tu as plein de super restaurants asiatiques. Merci. Tu as plein de super restaurants asiatiques dans la rue Sainte Anne. The hardest walk with me I've ever done, I think, raining, la pluie, plus. <laughs> Mais bon, c'est. I still, I still love exploring Paris with you guys. Et, euh, et ouais, je suis contente de vous partager mon expérience. On va y arriver. We're going to be able to make it. Il y a beaucoup de monde parce que je pense qu'il y a beaucoup de touristes dans cet endroit. There's a lot of tourists in this area because c'est quand même le deuxième arrondissement. It's the second arrondissement. And also, I love watching videos of people doing this in other cities. Like I've seen it being done au Japon. J'ai vu ça faire au Japon, mais ici, à Paris, en France, ça se fait pas trop. C'est quand même sympa à faire. Especially that it lets you discover a city. Ça te laisse découvrir une ville tout en marchant, tout en parlant, tout en écoutant le français, like while walking and while discovering and also while hearing French. So I think it's an interesting way to be able to walk in the city. There's this phenomenon in Asia and China that's called um, city walk, uh, which emerged during COVID. Donc ça a émergé pendant la période de COVID and it's introducing like a city to someone via walking. And it makes me laugh because there's such a business model around it now because a lot of people, they do it for like groups. And a lot of people say, isn't it just walking though? <laughs> and honestly, it kind of is. Wow. Là, ah, là, on est au BNF. On est à la Bibliothèque Nationale de France. So that is one of my favorite places to be because uh, there is a huge library. Il y a une bibliothèque immense, hyper silencieuse, super quiet, super sympa pour travailler, like great place to work. Donc, je te conseille d'aller au BNF, to the National Library of France. Ah, il y a trop de pluie devant la Galerie Vivienne, and it says, see, in those Histoires de Paris, that it's from 1823. Oh, this is uh, Lucien Legrand. Excellent, excellent wine bar. Je suis allée déjà deux fois. Ils ont vraiment des super choses, and it's such a vibe to have a glass of wine in the middle of the passageway there, quand il n'y a personne, when there's no one. And I think this is what made me fall in love with passageways. I think just this. Genre, c'est absolument magnifique. Il y a un dôme 
en verre, like a dome in glass. Il y a des sculptures qu'on voit aux côtés. There are sculptures on the side as well. Et le sol, ça fait genre une coupole. C'est vraiment, c'est absolument euh, magnifique. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I love it. This is one of, hands down, like probably my favorite passage. And today, surprisingly, il n'y a pas grand monde. Like usually, le week-end, il y a énormément de monde, but today, il n'y a pas grand monde. Et tu vois, si tu vois derrière moi, il y a des restaurants comme ici, where people are starting to have apéro, which you have in France after work to enjoy uh, your evening with someone around a drink or a snack. Il y a quelques magasins de vêtements. There are some uh, shops with clothes. Mais euh, ouais, c'est un endroit très sympa. À ma gauche, il y a un café que je vais souvent. There's a cafe that I often go to. Um, it's also very cute. I even, I think, did a few carousels where I have a photo in that cafe. Parce que c'est très sympa. Et um, j'adore ce passage. Like, there's no way I can't show you guys. Like, look, the, the sculptures there are so beautiful. The, the ceiling of glass, c'est vraiment magnifique. En plus, là, il n'y a personne. So, perfect time for a photo. Il y a une ancienne euh, librairie là. C'est vraiment un de mes passages favoris à Paris. It's one of my favorite passageways uh, in Paris. Ancien livre, they have a lot of like old books. So check the opening hours to see if they're going to be open. Mais il faut absolument y aller. Et ce que j'aime bien aussi, what I also like, c'est que il n'y a pas que des touristes. Like there's not only tourists coming here. Il y a aussi des personnes qui vivent ici. There's also people that live here. Donc c'est pas seulement une, un passage de touristes et c'est pour ça que j'aime les passages en général. C'est parce que je trouve que il y a quand même l'aspect de la vie locale. Like there's still a lot of local people as well as tourists. Oh yeah, because on the floor c'est des mosaïques. J'arrive à la fin du passage. I'm reaching the end of the passageway, which brings me to an end to this walk with me because I think from Galerie Vivienne, je vais prendre le métro. And let me know what you thought of this first walk with me. I've seen it in other cities. Je l'ai vu dans beaucoup d'autres villes. So it's super interesting. And I'm actually thinking perhaps I should take you guys to other monuments or other places in Paris, share a little bit about the history, share a little bit about the views, tout en parlant français en anglais, like while speaking French and English and while showing you the views in a more casual and like walk with me way because I think it's a great way to explore la ville de Paris and also to just like let you know more about me rather than just me sharing facts about each location. Donc merci beaucoup, thank you so much et à bientôt, see you very soon.